Last week, we looked at Ace's gang from Stand By Me, which was awesome. That was a lot of fun. So I want to do it again, even though it barely got any likes or comments. I like it. And we looked at Casey. I became a fan of Casey Semesco, this guy, who was one of Ace's gang and is a great actor. You just might not know his name. And then it led me to this, Back to the Future, because not only was he played a member of the 50s gang from Stand By Me, he was also a member of the 50s gang from Back to the Future. Awesome. He played Billy Tessio in Ace's gang. And in this, here he is. Da -da -da. He played, I think it's called like 3D. So let's look at these boys. Let's shine a light on those whose light didn't shine as bright. Let's take a look at the also rands, the working actors who never became huge Hollywood stars, but we appreciate and we can love. So let's start with Biff, played by Bill F. Wilson. He's from Philly. He was involved in drama in high school and he played the tuba and he was a drum major in the marching band, which is funny that he ended up becoming famous for being like a bully. He went to Arizona State and studied international politics, then went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. When he moved to L.A., he shared an apartment with Andrew Dice Clay and Yakov Smirnoff. It sounds horrible. Can you imagine two worse roommates than these? That's it. Get hey, you're going to learn pidgin English first, and you'll I be fine. So you used to go to parks. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned. And I have this idea that the apartment smelled bad. He's got a lot of credits. Back to the Future um, seems to be his big things. And he played Ben Fredericks on Freaks and Geeks. Before Back to the Future, he was in an episode of Knight Rider and the Facts of Life. As was Casey, was also in Facts of Life. He voices Flats the Flounder in SpongeBob SquarePants. Tell the class something about yourself, Flats. Well, I like to kick people's butts. He's a devout Catholic which is surprising in Hollywood. And he released a contemporary Christian album in 2000 called In the Name of the Father. I didn't even know Catholics did that. I thought Christian music was purely an evangelical fixation. Don't get me wrong. I love me some good Christian music. El Shaddai, El Shaddai. I just didn't know Catholics did that. Let's see if we can find it. Maxi pads, I told you, those are knee pads. You stick them back on and get back on the soccer field. I don't care what people say. He's also a painter, does lots of stuff. Let's see if I can find any of his paintings. Yeah, what I like that it said, they said, he said he did paintings. He didn't say he did art. There's a difference. It's like his movie, Back to the Future. It isn't a film, it's a movie. There's a difference, right? Do you ever get in that argument with people? I do. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite film? Maybe that just me being an asshole. But if I said my favorite movies, there's lots of Steven Spielberg movies I'm going to name that are just fun movies like Big, Back to the Future. Those are good movies. If I say my favorite film, then I'm thinking like Godfather. Um, can't think of any other films. Here's his Facebook page that I am now a member of, so go on there and support him because he's because he's a big part of our pop culture, which is appropriate that he should paint pop culture now. Yes, action. Hi, folks, Tom Wilson here, ready to perform my first big comedy special. You all remember me, Biff, the bad guy, and all three Back to the Future movies, Freaks and Geeks, The Informant, The Matt Damon. Th I'm just kidding, nobody cares about Matt Damon, but this to me is what it's all about performing live for live human beings because that's who i care about people that's what this business is all about is that all right good all right Cut. Mr. Wilson, let's go. Quick picture. They're no, introducing me right now. One quick question. Can I get, I get a, an autograph from Michael J. Fox? No, I don't know. You see him, don't you? They're introducing me right, right now. Look, quick. Butthead. Butthead. Oh, butthead. Do the butthead. Real butthead. butthead. Yes. Okay. All right. One, butthead. two, three. Oh, damn. Oh, there you go. Ready for the show. All right. It's simple, harmless humor. What do you want? He was Biff from Back to the Future. So who am I to rag on him? That's awesome. So why don't you make like a tree? Get out of here. Uh, recap, um, Casey Semesco, we talked about earlier. He's also in Young Guns, Mice and Men. Who's this? 
J.J. Cohen as skinhead. So that's him there. He's got the black glove on and the yellow shirt. Ooh, he got fat, which happens. J.J. Cohen. Looks like every American man that comes to London on one of my tours. Cohen's first feature film was in the 1985 film Paradise Motel. It was not until 1985 he would get his big role in the film Back to the Future as Skinhead, a member of Biff's gang. Ooh, he was originally up for the role of Biff, but did not appear physically intimidating when standing against the six-foot-tall Eric Stoltz, who was originally cast as Marty McFly. Yeah. Writer and producer Bob Gale noted that had the much shorter Michael J. Fox been cast as Marty from the beginning, as they had hoped, Cohen probably would have played Biff. Dude. Cohen has appeared in television series, including V, the series. That was great. Let's look that up. Did you love V? Come on, X-Gen. We loved V. Remember how hot that girl was? alien girl and remember it was the guy from freddy krueger who played the nerdy guy in v this guy amazing stories he was in the mission do you remember that we had casey who plays um 3d and coming in april from executive producer steven spielberg amazing stories book one this fits Steven Spielberg is the director of Back to the Future. Steven Spielberg is the producer of Amazing Stories. Of course, he's going to cast people he's already worked with before. Duh. All right, so I'm going to assume that's him right there. That looks like him. And that very top. I'm saving that. Almost Famous. Are you familiar? With that sounds vaguely familiar to me. Almost Famous in 2000. Cameron Crowe. That's right. This movie. And so who did he play? Let's look. Damn it, you didn't even get credit on it. That's what happens. If he was Biff, if he had gotten Biff, he'd be credited on all these. Almost. He was in a movie called Almost Famous, and he was almost famous. I wonder what he's doing now. Here's his Facebook. Let's become friends. I'm going to share this with you. That way you can become friends with him too. Nip ping. Let's all be friends with JJ and tell him how much we liked him in Back to the Future. Bringing in the new year, a free talk by JJ. Hi, everybody. This is JJ Cohen, and I want to welcome you and thank you for participating in the event tonight. Then their forgiveness of me is none of my business. All right. Well, that's not bad advice, right? Got a nice career, buddy. Billy Zane as Match. Billy Zane. He looks very familiar to me. Oh, Match, because he has a matchbook in his mouth. He's an American actor. He was in Titanic. Does he play the bad guy? Us. Oh, yeah, that's him. I had hoped you would come to me last night. I was tired. Your exertions below decks were no doubt exhausting. Is Billy Zane British? Zane was born in Chicago. Zane's first two screen roles were in the science fiction film Back to the Future 1985 and Critters in 1986. Around the same time, he appeared in the music video for Sheena Easton's songs Do It for Love. Do you, do you, do you, do you Ugh, man. YouTube, do not, do not demonetize me because I played that song. It's not worth it. Earned him an MTV Movie Award nomination for Best Villain. All right. MTV Music Award. I don't know. Weird that I'm even looking this up. But are you curious too? Kind of? Look. The problem with the Best New Artist Award is that you can only win it once. Even so, it's nice to get it. And one of these artists is about to. Aha, take on me. Hooters, and we dance. Whitney Houston, how will I know? Pet Shop Boys, West End Girls. Simply Red, holding back the years. And the winner is... Oops. Excuse me about this. Aha, take on me. Take on me, director is Stephen Barron. Let's go down that rabbit hole. 
Stephen Barron is an Irish-British filmmaker. He is known for directing the music video for the songs Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, Burning Up by Madonna, Summer of 69, and Run to You by Brian Adams, Money for Nothing by Dire Strait, Electric Avenue, and I Don't Want to Dance by Eddie Grant, Let's Get Rocked by Def Leppard, Going Underground by The Jam, Don't You Want Me, The Human League, Baby Jane by Rod Stewart, Hell Shelter by Tears for Fears, Africa by Toto, Steve Barron, you're my favorite music video director. And Take On Me. Take On Me and Billie Jean have each garnered over 1 billion views on YouTube. Bourne also directed several films, including Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Coneheads, and The Ventures of Pinocchio. Steve Barron, I'm a fan. All right. And that never even got me to my question from the MTV Music Awards. Billy Zane. Zane also appeared on Broadway in Chicago, where he played lawyer Billy Flynn. Of course, he can probably sing and dance and do all the stuff. That's just how it goes. Let's watch a little Back to the Future, the gang from Back to the Future. Lorraine, my density has brought me to you. All right, so here they come. They just came in. Let's talk about them. First one in, Casey. Second one, JJ. Third one, Billy Zane. It's funny, this looks a lot like this. There's Casey in both of them. In fact, he's sitting in the exact same spot. All right, I'm not going to keep watching the movie. You've seen it. I went and saw Back to the Future, the musical in London, the West End. It's been running a long time. So bad. It's a sin that it even exists. It reinforces the idea of why people hate musicals. Which other one should we do? Oh, I had a recommendation. So Terry, TK Butter, recommended that I do The Boys from Dead Poet Society. We all know what happened to Ethan Hawks and even this guy, Robert Leonard. What about Charlie and Knox and Richard and all of these? Let's figure out what happened to those boys next time on The Also Rands. It's strange that a dog will eat a dead bird, but will never eat a grape. <laughs>